<clears throat> Hi guys, Truthful Mommy. I decided to do my throat punch today as a vlog. So we're gonna start with, well, I know you're probably all expecting me to be giving the throat punch to the plagiarist asshole who stole all my material. Well, not all my material, but stole any of my material that I've been complaining about all week. But I think I've wasted enough time on that person, so I'm not gonna give him a throat punch. But if I see them in person, I am gonna take a bat and beat them like a pinata as promised. So no throw punch for them. But moving on to throw punches, um, the first story, according to the Washington Post, the Obama administration plans to cut pediatric training funds um, as part of their 2012 budget. Um, they are planning on terminating a program that provides 300 million, yes, I said million dollars, to um, 56 freestanding children's hospitals that train 40% of the nation's pediatricians and 43% of the, our pediatric specialists. So we need this money because it's hard enough for us mothers to find good um, superior pediatricians. It takes a lot of work, y'all know this. Um, there's interviewing, there's word of mouth, there's going in and uh, you know the, all the rigmarole that's involved. And it's really hard to find one that has a good bedside manner and gets along not just with you, but with your child. So all this is hard enough now to find a superior um, pediatrician. With this funding cut, that's gonna mean one of two things. Either we're gonna have a whole bunch of half-ass trained pediatricians, or we're just not simply not gonna have enough pediatricians that are trained, period. So um, now it's gonna be hard to just find a pediatrician that is adequate. And that's not what I want. So throw a punch to the administration. Um, last week we cut the space shuttle missions. This week, funding to pediatricians. What's next week? We're gonna make a law where it's gonna be mandatory to kick all puppies, babies, and old people when you pass them? Throat punch to the administration. Next story up. I know as parents and living in the free world and not living under a rock, you probably all know this next story. Um, it's the heartbreaking story of little Levy Kletsky, the little eight-year-old boy who um, from Borough Park, Brooklyn, who was left his house like a normal child, went to his camp and on his way back from camp, the seven block truck, um, his parents are waiting at home for him. He gets lost like a normal eight year old boy. He asks for directions and this disgusting predator, um, Levy Aaron, 35, actually turned 35 yesterday when they found um, little Levy's body, um, came in contact with the little boy, caught on police surveillance. What a moron. Um, he, the boy asked him for inst for instructions how to get home, <coughs> directions. The guy took him home, killed him, cut up his body. Cut up his body. All this time his parents are home waiting for this little boy. <coughs> I can't even imagine. And then he didn't just cut up his body. He took half of it or a portion of it and put it, cut up parts of, um, dismembered parts of his body, put them in like hefty bags and put them in a suitcase in a dumpster. And then he took <coughs> the rest of them, I guess, for the only thing I can think of is a memento. He's some kind of sick freak. I hope he's not a cannibal or something. <coughs> and had him in his refrigerator freezer. <coughs> um, they found this all in his tiny little attic apartment. I mean, this guy screams like freaky loner serial killer. I, I can't even imagine this kid's parents were sitting home They've been all week waiting for this kid. And the unspeakable things that must have happened to this child before he was actually killed, I can't even imagine. Can you imagine being eight years old, how terrified you would be? Some strange person you trust and you ask for directions and they abduct you, then they take you home. I don't know what this man did to this child. Um, I haven't heard any um, reports of them molesting him or anything. I mean, I don't know. And then he, he, killed him I don't know how he killed him I don't I didn't see that recorded anywhere but sometime between the time he picked this kid up from the whole time he picked this child up till he dismembered him this child was frightened out of his mind and scared and alone and I can't even imagine so to this man this levy Aaron you get my throat punch 
I wish I could give you more than a throat punch. Um, I wish I could kick your head right off your shoulders. Because I think, in my personal opinion, you are like a half a notch, half a step below Casey Anthony. And the only reason that she's on a higher level of douchery than you is in sickness is because she was actually Kaylee's mother. So those are my throat punches. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I will put the rest in writing and you can read it and I can give you the links to the stories. And um, happy Throat Punch Thursday. It's a sick, sick, sick world.